Hello, welcome back to Manicast. My name is Manicast. Welcome to Manicast. Please subscribe to Manicast. Some videos ago, I mentioned that I burned a kitchen, and I just wanted to tell you the story today. How small Domenico, working in a big hotel, burned the whole kitchen. Most of the guests had to leave the restaurant because it was full of smoke. But to tell you this story, we have to go back five, four days. So many things happened who led to this point. Also, I have to mention how this kitchen was separated. We had a saucier who makes meat and sauces. We have a, a entremetier who makes all every style dishes. We have a gutmanche who makes salads and we had a pastry who makes all sweets uh, and we had one or two persons in breakfast so on total on the evening we were eight people and in the morning two people ten cooks and it was totally fine it was summer and we didn't have had much clients half of the staff took two weeks off and with five people one person on one position it was really doable but then all of a sudden one person called in sick and this time i had my room in the hotel i lived there and my shift on the previous day ended on 10 o'clock in the evening so i was in bed like uh, Midnight at 5 o'clock someone knocked on my door. I have to dress myself up and go down and prepare the breakfast because the breakfast person just didn't show up. So I did it. I made the breakfast. But as you can guess in the evening there were four positions but only two people with me three people. So I stayed and I made from 5 o'clock till 10 in the evening this shift. On the second day it was same shit again. I had to stand up early in the morning and ended on the latest shift. I had one hour lunch break every day. The kitchen chef and me, we cooked together the three positions and the pastry did their things because the pastry uh, can't cook obviously. They are pastry guys. <laughs> I made breakfast and salad and my boss mate um, who also came at 7 o'clock started with all the side dishes and pr then prepped the meat. And in the evening, the salads were on a buffet and I cooked the side dishes and the, my boss cooked the meat. And this went on for two days. I was so fucked up. I was so tired. You can't imagine how tired I was. I worked like 16 to 17 hours a day. Did go to bed and woke up early in the morning just to work again. On the third day, I made a huge mistake. I was so overtired. While we were cooking in the evening, it was really stressful. There were many persons coming at the same time. And then one kid wanted fries. I opened the freezer, took out the fries, wanted to put them in the deep fryer and so I didn't turn it on. Somehow I did manage to forget to turn on the deep fryer. And then I turned it on and it takes like 10 minutes until it's the right temperature. And my chef, he said okay i put some oil in a pan and preheat it on the stove because this will go quicker and then we put it in the deep fryer and so the oil in the deep fryer will get hotter sooner we had so much to do that he for totally forgot about the oil on the stove and i made in my deep fryer my uh, fries and everything they went out and somehow the oil <laughs> was still on the stove at some point the oil just took fire it just was like fire no smoke previously or anything it was just like this pan and then fire so i was on this side of the stove and he was on this side of the stove it's really it was really long and for me walking around took like forever it was a really big kitchen and i just st stood there cooking and reheating some vegetables and, <laughs> and then I saw a huge flame and just stood there uh, Chef, you have a fire I was so overtired, I couldn't care less that it was fire He took a towel, put it over the pan and the fire went out He lifted the towel and the fire <laughs> started again He put the towel back on It started to smoke really dark dark smoke he lifted back the towel up it started again burning all the smoke uh, burned and it was a was a huge it was a fucking huge flame then i decided i take a bigger pan and just put it upside down on this pan uh, and i thought it was brilliant 
but somehow I managed to, by putting the second pen on the first pen, I just hit the handle of the first pen and burning oil swapped down all over the floor <laughs> and we had a literally burning kitchen. The floor burned, the stove burned, the remaining oil in the pan burned. Then I did go and took the fire extinguisher. Uh, we took the pan, put it outside and at this point the whole kitchen and the whole room, guest room was full of dark smoke. It was so much smoke and all the guests had to leave the rest, uh, the guest room. After like 10 minutes with wide open doors and windows, they could continue and we just stood in the smoke, uh, kept on cooking, kept on prepping and it was hilarious. <laughs> Fortunately, on the fourth day we were four persons and we could work normally again. So that was a huge upside. <laughs> on the next day, a lot of people asked us, why you just didn't took the fire blanket and put it above? We didn't know we had such a thing in the kitchen or where it could be if we had one. I knew where the fire extinguisher was and that's all. And yeah, it was a special fire extinguisher for oil flames and everything. So never put a normal fire extinguisher in oil flames because normal fire, normal fire extinguishers are with water. You will fuck you up, you will fuck the whole house up, uh, you will burn yourself. Don't do this. It was a special fire extinguisher and the fire blanket. Nobody of us knew where it was or where it could be. So by this little accident, we had to close major gaps in security <laughs> for this kitchen, for this hotel. Now there is a, right next to the fire extinguisher, there's a box on the wall with the blanket in it and everything you need to prevent a fire or extinguish a fire. And yeah, that's all because of me and I'm too stupid to turn on a deep fryer. <laughs> and nobody got injured. <laughs> there was no one there. I got some driplets of hot oil on my hand while using the fire extinguisher, but it's fine. I'm fine. That was how I or we burned a whole kitchen. I hope I see you next time for more stories from my kitchen life. If you enjoyed this story, um, I have some stories, some more stories to share from kitchens. If you're interested, leave a like, leave me a comment. Um, tell me maybe how which experience do you have with burning kitchens <laughs> and see you next time. Bye bye! See ya!